Hello, Second Life residents, and uh, welcome back. I'm just going to do a little how or a houseboat tour here of uh, the houseboat. Pretty satisfied with how it turned out so far. Uh, we'll see in a week or two if I decide to change it. I've already changed it once already. But um, it's a houseboat that you can get with a premium account. I got luck lucked out with uh, my location. I'm right here at the end of... Uh, Gillamont Channel, and then I can just sail over right across here to Belarusia, which is the rest of the uh, premium homes. This section is like undeveloped here. You can walk around here, but you'll see signs saying uh, new homes coming soon. And I think there's more, yeah, more undeveloped area here and here. When that fills in, but uh, let's just get into it. Uh, I found this ladder that on the marketplace it doesn't really fit the boat, but it's one prim and it's got uh, poses and stuff and it was pretty inexpensive. So yeah, went with that dysfunctional design uh, ivy along with um, half deer and half deer palms aria uh, shower outdoor shower. Uh, this was a D lab gotcha. And then uh, what next? This little barbecue thing. I think this was last Friday's 50 Linden Friday. Uh, was this and uh, Life Preserver. Uh, the house number comes from a, a free gift from the Belarusia citizens. And there's another group that's a community group. Uh, they got a bunch of free stuff uh, to help uh, decorate and uh, set up your house, which is pretty nice. The bubble jar, bubble reser. You just so make it come by. You just click the bubble, hop in it, and then float around. It's pretty nice. These um, awnings are from the marketplace. They're full permission. Full permissions. Um, I think they're. I don't. Know, you can see the same thing on like the roost. Some of the roost houses, the modern roost houses. So I'm not sure about those, but it's all good. Uh, they're only like one land impact. They're actually probably 0.5 land impact because you, when you link them together, you save a prim. Uh, Apple fall flag. Let's go inside here. A little kitchen area. Uh, found the refrigerator and the little stove at BBQQ Slow. Uh, D-Lab garbage can. This countertop's from Mud Honey. What next? Coffee machine. Balaclava. Uh, oven and Kunst whiskey dispenser balaclava dividers. I think that's a balaclava shelf too. Yep. Uh, trompet table and chairs along with some random matter foods and uh, vespertine foods. And I think there's a vespertine. Yeah, neon sign. Oh, the these light strings. TBF, I forget what that's called, but he's the guy who does the um, uh, little, uh, what are they, battle? I forget what they're called. Those little flying war bugs. War bugs? Yes, he does those. He's got like a lot of cool little stuff at his store that's pretty ex inexpensive and low land impact and a bunch of fun stuff too. Uh, moving on in, we got the little bedroom area. What's this uh, tart mirror? Uh, I think this is Sayo um, Villain Art. This came with uh, the first release of the swag bag uh, loot box that was uh, put out by Mad P. And then I got half deer strings and half deer ceiling drapes. Uh, soy bed. This thing is bed has nice poses, and it was only five land impacts. So, I thought that was a kind of a good steal. The rug from Bazaar. Oh, this one. Yes, from Bazaar. And then over here we got um a backbone. Uh, arcade machine picture frames from I forget who I think got them on the marketplace 
Balaclava neon sign. Oh, I got uh, more neon signs over here. I think these are from War. Yep. Send nudes. Floor plan. Oh, and this one uh, is floor plan. No pants. Uh, painting snow is online status board. We got some games over here from Common, Nomad, Half Deer, and um, Mad P. Uh, Backbone uh, Virtual. What was this? VR TV stand. And Via Curve TV. I like this TV because when you play something on it, anybody in the uh, parcel can see the same thing being played on. Uh, not some like the other ones that are just like media players that everybody sees their own ind individual things. Uh, backbone signs. Uh, this frame is from Half Deer. And then this is from the commun Belarusia community. This shows like uh, uh, different res points across uh, on the uh, island or the continent. So you can click them and just teleport to them and be able to like res out cars, boats, planes, whatever. This is a free item from the uh, group. We got uh, furniture for Convair, Kunst, um, Champagne Bucket. Uh, who is the plants from? Compulsion. And then Soy. And this, these plants I found on, the pop plants I found on the marketplace, they're full perm. All right, I think that's it in here. Oh, Gian Spider. Stepping outside. Oh, the floor mat. Bad Unicorn. More of the whores. Uh, neon signs. Beach chair from Chez. Chez moi. Not Chez, Chez moi. Uh, little... Bubble Crab from Half Deer. Half Deer. This was on the 50 Linden Friday sale last week. Uh, this is a D-Lab gotcha. Got my Bandit IF boat. I can just hop on here and sail away, which is quite nice. One of the reasons why I wanted a boathouse. Uh, what next? Floats. And then TLC Dolphin out here. And the C... See, and water foam is from Virtual Nature. And then it's just head up on the deck, the little party area up here. We got a little bar from Chez Moi. Neuralab cans vending machine. Uh, it has bento poses for the cans I like. Um, and then back, I think this is Backbone, yeah. Uh, they just updated the refrigerator, which I was super excited about, except for the old refrigerator had bento poses to hold uh, the cans and stuff and pizza, but it would prompt you, you get the message up here saying, do you want to attach the item to your avatar? The new refrigerator, he includes experience, an experience that you can add to your uh, parcel and then it'll just automatically attach your avatar if you have this enabled um, and not have the menu prompt if you want to attach or not, which I love that. I love when uh, creators use like AV sit or something like that and just enable experience so you don't have to be bothered with the menu. But the bad thing was, or the kind of not bad thing, but the downside was the refrigerator went from six land impact to 16 land impact and when you're in a small parcel like this with 350 prims i try to be as prim conscious as possible and that was just a little much to use for me uh, so i didn't end up using the refrigerator sadly uh, junk food margarita and vodka dispensers uh, I've got the Kiki Globe over here. It's doing the uh, stars. Chez moi. Um, couch and table. And then a little, a little battleship. 
uh, from TBF, Trompe Hot Tub, uh, this little DJ set from Ideas, and then Kaza, uh, Lounge Table, and Bamboo, and Pillow Seats. The awning I found on the Marketplace, it's a uh, modifiable. Lowland Impact. The default is uh, one, but I've stretched this out and it's increased to, I think, like four. Uh, these lights I found on the marketplace, they are modifiable, like less than a half a land impact. You can link them together and save, uh, which is really nice. And uh, you can, if you wanted to change the lights, you can just by selecting face and then clicking on them. And then going to textures and changing the color if you want to change them. Very nice. Uh, but this is my little, oh, I have a sound thing over here, soundscape, two seagulls and wave sounds, and then a seagull from uh, TLC as well, up top. But this is my little boathouse. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully it'll stay decorated the same for the next week or two until I get completely bored of it and decide to change it. But... Uh, that's this little quick video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, any questions, comments, feel free to put them down below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. I usually do within a day or so. And uh, see you out on the open seas. Second Life Residence. Take care. Bye, everybody.